Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Ikra Hafiz and you're watching Desi TV USA. Let's have a look at the news. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is speaking at NASA headquarters. Joining HM are the Japanese Prime and Foreign Minister as well as NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. Working a lockstep uh, with the United States to deepen this uh, collaboration. Thank you so much. Thank everyone. It's wonderful to be with you. It's especially wonderful to be here at NASA. Um, I take a point of, as we would, you would say in the Senate, personal privilege to say how good it is to be with the administrator. I can't help but thinking of him as senator uh, for the many years that um, I had the honor of uh, working in effect for him as uh, staff director of the Foreign Relations Committee. So, uh, Mr. Administrator, it's wonderful to be here with you and with the women and men uh, of NASA at headquarters together with friends from JAXA. Um, and I realize that I'm actually sharing <laughs> this podium with three people who've been uh, to space, uh, the administration included. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, it's an honor uh, to sit uh, with you, uh, with my friend, uh, Foreign Minister Hayashi, uh, and with our ambassadors as well. Russia is becoming too dependent on oil revenues to support its budget as it ramps up military spending, economists said, warning that the government may have to raise taxes if price of crude failed to meet expectations this year. Prime Minister Mohammad Shehbaz Sharif met with the UAE Minister for Tolerance, His Highness Sheikh Nahyan bin Mubarak in Abu Dhabi. In the meeting, discussions were held regarding strengthening economic ties between the two countries. In the meeting, discussions were held regarding the UAE's investment in Pakistan in various sectors, discussions between the two leaders on bilateral and matters of mutual interest. Pakistan transferred the chair of the Group of 77 and China from Pakistan to the Republic of Cuba, reposing great confidence in Cuba's leadership for the next year, as G77 chair for the year 2023. Mr. Joe Janshin, chairman of Shinsho Group, arrived at the embassy after his visit to Pakistan, encouraged by his business interest in Pakistan in diverse sector incorporation, battery manufacturing, dairy, fisheries and mining. Punjab police spokesperson Rehan Anjum said on Friday that only after reviewing the evidence, we came to know that there was an organ trafficking operation behind the disappearance of the child. According to the French news agency AFP, the group lured young, vulnerable victims to lucrative jobs and large sums of money, especially kidneys, for up to 900,000 rupees before harvesting their organs. The unique fire-throwing festival of Gilgit Baltistan. The main purpose of this festival is to celebrate happiness, escape from the harsh winter weather, and celebrate the arrival of spring. When it gets completely dark, the fire is lit and everyone starts the program by chanting joyfully while dancing on the songs. Along with this, women also prepare delicious local food in their homes, which include marjan, azuk, laksap khair, bale, tirubale, etc. Spokesman Zabula Mujahid says that the government is working to lift the temporary ban on women's education after the meeting with the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC. Zabula Mujahid issued a statement on Twitter in which he welcomed the meeting with the OIC. Zabula Mujahid said that, of course, the international community should continue to cooperate with Afghanistan and not interfere in its internal affairs. He said that the concern of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, Regarding women's education is incomprehensible, but the Islamic Emirates is taking steps to resolve the issue and is working to lift the temporary ban. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Desi TV USA or visit our website desitvusa.com.